happy Sunday. Um, I'm on my way to the field to get in the cart, not to really run it, but the, a neighbor is coming to help us out, which we're really appreciative of. Um, but it's kind of hard to jump in on a farming operation where, you know, the ins and outs and field locations and things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna ride with him for at least a little while. Um, yeah. Hopefully the rest of this week goes better than the end of last week. How sweet is this thing? One of the neighbors brought it by for me to use. Ooh, hit a rock. Uh, so it would be a little bit easier for me to go around. Probably just mainly keep it at the shop. Um, that's where I'll be most of the time. But yeah, this thing is sweet. It even comes, um, you can see it this little removable basket so I can carry all the tools, all the good stuff. So definitely making things a little bit easier. Um, yeah, gonna head out and see if I can help Jeff in the scale house. And then later, um, Rick is doing a great job in the otter cart uh, and dad wanted me to come ride in the combine with him. So just have to figure out a way to get up in there. So. Okay, so so far this is working out pretty well. Um, I got some lessons on driving the combine earlier, um, just in case after surgery, I wouldn't have to use my foot once I got in the combine, um, my left foot, or really my right foot either. Um, and then uh, we're switching fields, so we got Rick behind me um, in the auger cart. Um, and then obviously everyone, if, there's a lot of field names to memorize and location, so just driving ahead to make sure everyone gets to the right spot. Um, but yeah, uh, so far it's been a pretty good Sunday. I think I'm gonna go get sandwiches for the guys and yeah, shell a little bit more corn. The dryer's full though, so I don't really see us shelling a ton more tonight, but not a bad day, all things considered. So my goal is to, since I've already screwed up harvest enough um, and made things so much more difficult, is to figure out a way to safely and not hurt myself anymore, um, still contribute as much as I possibly can. So next few weeks should be really interesting. Okay, happy Tuesday. Um, like almost 10 o'clock I'm just now getting here um because my foot swelled up so badly um last night and definitely hurts a lot worse but um need some help moving a head cart and that's something that I can do um and my foot has been up for the last 12 hours and most of yesterday so I can get this done fingers crossed I just have to hook the truck onto the trailer, the head cart, and then I also have to get up in the mower tractor, which shouldn't be too bad because it's low, it's it's pretty low to the ground, um, to raise the one wing up so I can actually pull the beam head out. So, fingers crossed this goes well. <laughs> I did it. It took me about three times as long as I normally would have um, and I am sweating like a you know what in church because that was a lot of hopping. Whew. But I got it and man, um, should be headed to the field for my dad to switch from corn back to beans. So, hands look really big. <laughs> it's not a great angle. Hmm. I need a nap now. Get that mowing done. 
<laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're moving um, the combine with the bean head. Clear after that one or not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm clear to the north, so I'll go ahead. So this is something that we don't normally do, but there's just one field of ours in between um, that bean field and this next one. Like, it's not even half a mile um, down the road. So when we're able to, we just block traffic and just move right down. It saves like a solid 40, 45 minutes. Um, and this isn't a busy road and people are usually pretty good about watching out this time of the year because they know there's a lot of farmers working to get in the field. So I've got all the lights flashing on this service truck. I have a thing up top and then the flashers. Um, so then I just park in the middle and dad's coming up um, behind me. So he's coming right up there, um, right after that gravel road. He's just gonna pull in there at the corner, um, and I'll just stay here until he is off the road. But I should be good because there's literally no one coming. Like I said, this road's not usually that busy. And the reason we don't do this very often is I think pretty obvious considering that head um, it's a 40 foot draper head and it takes up the the whole road and then some Happy Tuesday. Um, I just got over here to um, the surgeon. Uh, so hopefully figure out what the game plan is and get surgery scheduled. Um, it's actually my birthday. So happy birthday to me. What a great, great day. Um, to be honest, I've definitely had worse birthdays than this. So I really can't complain. Um, and really hoping and praying that whatever I find out today is um, going to be somewhat quick and easy and that they can get me in surgery pretty quickly. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so I got home. If you've watched the short little video um, before, you obviously know that I got good news um, with the surgeon. So, I went home and rested for a little bit and then my dad called and they needed help moving um, fields. So I'm gonna help them do that and then probably <laughs> go back to bed. Um, but I think I gotta pick up one of the guys here at the shop and take them back down and hook up to the head cart and all that jazz, so. Okay. Put this in four-wheel drive. Uh, there we go. Um, so we just got to Grandma's field. My dad actually caught a little bit of this the other day, um, but didn't finish it because it was so green. So he's gonna go ahead and finish it today. I just need to get this head cart turned around. Um, so, oh wait, no, I don't need to get it turned around. I'm a freaking idiot. Yeah, my dad's gonna 100% realize that I had that confused when he pulls in the field, but it is what it is. Um, and you know what? Just doing the best I can. Um, because he can only get on it from this side, obviously. Because he can only hook on to it from the combine one direction. Um, I was already thinking about like when he puts it back on when he's done with this field. I need to like have this head cart turned around the other direction so I can just pull straight out of the field. But yeah, I think it's a good enough spot to drop this. Okay, 
right, so I just got to the shop. It's like, it's after 11. Um, had some struggles this morning. Um, <clears throat> my knees swelled up. I didn't sleep with them up in the air. And they swelled up so much I'll that, take I, truck to the field. that I couldn't bend them this morning. So I had to work on that before I could roll myself out of bed. <clears throat> but just getting lunch for the guys um, and taking it really easy today. So not gonna be very interesting, sorry. <laughs> Here, you want to come out toward where they cut that tree down, where I just crosses deep. Okay. Okay, so last move of the night. Um, I don't think they're probably going to get much done in this next field as you can see the sun is going down um i think that i'm going to go home i have not done anything today i think i've helped them move fields this will be i think my second time i don't even know anymore but my foot is killing me i think the pain finally set in today <laughs> or maybe it's because my knees are hurting less i don't know that i'm like noticing my foot more or the fact that it's like actually restricted now so I don't know why but uh, this is probably the worst I felt since it happened so <laughs> I'm just ready to take something so I can fall asleep and I'm well, going to happen uh, yeah this road sucks so I'm very thankful to all the guys for being so wonderful with me feeling like crap and picking up my slack. So. Okay, so it's been a slow day. Uh, we had a lot of dew last night and um, it's been pretty overcast. The sun's finally starting to come out. Um, but went to lunch and ran to town to pick up some stuff at Napa. Um, I had to go to town anyway. And then just waiting on Grizz out here. He's running the inline ripper. Um, he's the problem with this thing is it just takes so long. So I don't really have time. I need to go home and pack some orders because I'm way, way, way behind on that. Um, but I don't really have time because by the time I get home and get going on that, um, I need to um, put in new lines for them for the next field in the GPS. So just gonna be hanging out here for a little bit. Happy Friday. Um, 100% just rolled out of bed. Um, usually I haven't been getting to work till later in the day. Just so like, cause it takes a while to get my knees moving. They're getting better every day, but um, they're switching to corn this morning and they really needed the help and something is up with Chris's GPS so I'm going to get that worked out luckily he's like a mile and it feels like a mile from my house so I literally rolled out of bed like 100% uh, and then hopefully later I will have time to go home and pull myself together just a little bit. At least put contacts in. I hate wearing glasses. Okay, just delivered the last sandwich. I got Grizz's GPS issue worked out. Turns out when he turned the tractor off last night and then turned it on this morning, started it, um, it jumped lines from the north line to the south line. So it was basically the same. There was just like a little jog in the middle because it wasn't a straight AB line. Um, I had a little jog to go around a fence post. So just setting up the auger and we just have to get it right above there. So I'm just here to kind of help from this angle. So we're gonna put soybeans in these little bins. 
Um, we won't actually hold them all winter, but the elevator is full of beans right now. They're waiting on a train. So um, until that train gets here and clears up some more room, no one can bring in, in any more beans. So we're just gonna hold them in here for a few days um, until we can haul them right back out to the elevator. Okay, so they're finishing up that field. My dad just sent me to check this field. Um, thinks it should be ready, but you know, never hurts to double check before you move all of your equipment out here. Um, you may just be having me do this so I feel useful, but either way, it works. It's fine. So I went out there and I already did um, try a couple out in the field, but I just like crutched a couple rows in. Um, but I got, grabbed a few more pods. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna have to stop and get out on the other side. Like these are these are dry, but they're just so pretty. Honestly, soybeans are one of my favorite little snacks to eat. <clears throat> and I hope that no one ever tells me how many calories are in them. So just ruin it for me. I hate tofu, I hate anything made out of soybeans, but actual soybeans, pretty tasty. Okay, just moving the corn head back to the shop. Um, it was still down here in the lot, but ooh, I need to get, there we go, this thing. Maybe it will not stick to my, um, and put it on the back of the corn head just to be extra safe. Um, so this will flash. Um, obviously, there's no one on this road now, but oh, now there's people coming, so go back. Getting ready to head in for the night. I've got my fancy new bionic leg thingy. Pretty sweet, actually. dad back there. I don't know if you can really tell. You can hear it. Um, he just got stuck by a train um, on the other side of the railroad tracks. And if you live in the town of 400, you know how rare that is. So, sucks to be him. But that train coming is a very good thing. It means that hopefully they'll move some beans out of the elevator and get some space cleared up. Okay, well the guys are out finishing putting everything up. I got them back on my scooter. It's just easier in um, the shop. So it's a much smoother ride. It's a lot easier on my legs. Um, but I check the DTN. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and Sunday. Which I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't want a ton of rain, but it would be nice to have a little break. Um, one, everyone here needs a break. Everyone's been working twice as hard since I was an idiot. Um, and especially on the weekend because they'll actually get like a decent break. My dad needs a break. Um, my aunt from Kansas City is coming in or she just got in today. So it'd be kind of nice to hang out with her a little bit. Um, and yeah, also I would not feel quite so guilty about all of this if we were rained out for a few days that I could not run on any equipment. So, very selfish of me, but see what the 12 hour forecast map is. Ooh, so got rain coming, but not gonna be quite to us. Oh, but we have some, it's definitely gonna rain tomorrow afternoon is what this is looking like. Good morning, happy Saturday. Um, I'm running late as usual. It took me way longer to shower. This whole broken foot thing is not ideal, but we're making it work, we're making it work. I need to work on my time management because I need to rearrange all of that. Um, everything takes two to three times as long on crutches, um, but my hair is a hot mess. It's literally just wet. Um, but I'm headed to the shop. Um, we're definitely going to be rained out this afternoon. I think it's moving in a little faster than they called for though, because I don't 
know if you can see that on the windshield, but it's already starting to sprinkle. So it's looking like today is going to be a total bust, which my dad was really hoping to shell corn this morning. Um, you can do that like when things are, not, not when they're wet, but like when it's not like beans where it has to be like perfectly dry to, to go. So if you can hear that, my dad has the dryer going. It's currently raining, um, but my dad still thinks he's gonna be able to shell corn all morning. So we'll see who's right, him or me. It's finally raining, but they now found an oil leak in the combine, which is not good. So they're working on that. Right now they're shutting off um, the fans to the bins and stuff so it doesn't like suck in moisture or whatnot um but I told my grandma that if it rained I would go to lunch with her and my aunts and it did rain um so my aunt from Kansas City and then my other one um, is meeting us from Indy so I'm very excited it's been a while since we've all been together and we're going to a really fun new restaurant that opened I guess it opened a few months ago but they're going to figure out where the oil leak is on the combine um, first before we leave for, you know, the rain day or whatnot. Um, just in case they have to like order a part that's gonna take a few days to get in. That way we can get it Monday or Tuesday versus ordering it Monday or Tuesday and getting it Thursday, you know. Um, so trying to speed that process up and hope everyone has had a great week. Um, hope you have a great weekend. Hope no one broke any bones, did anything stupid that they shouldn't have done. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching along.